Alright, once you have all your pocket holes cut, um, time for assembly. This is one of the, the uh, front or back frame. And what I do is, of course, lay it out like it's going to be assembled. Uh, I find and center on the top and bottom rails. And then I mark where the uh, two and a half inches would be based on center. And then I can line my center style up as well as my center style up there. And then I just use a little spacer block um, to, to space out the next piece on either side. Now, what I always do on mine is I always make the three closer together in the middle and have bigger gaps on the outsides. Uh, when it's all assembled, it kind of looks a little bit better, I think, as opposed to just everything being perfectly spaced out. If you have it perfectly spaced out, it just doesn't draw interest to it. If you have a, a little bit of different spacing, uh, that is still symmetrical. I think it just adds a little bit of attention to that particular uh, element of the chest. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I've got uh, the two sides over there ready to screw together as well. I've already put together one of these front or backs. And uh, that's what it's going to look like. Like I said, the outside. Uh, the outside holes are going to have just a little bit more space than the insides, but uh, you know it's going to look great once it's all done. Alright, so I've got all the, the panels built, and uh, what I'm doing here, I've already attached one of the sides to the front, and here I've got, uh, I've just got two clamps holding it. And I'm going to attach with four pocket hole screws the side to the front. Uh, once that's done, uh, put the uh, back piece on or front piece, whichever it is, up on top. Uh, clamp it together this way, and then screw through. I'll actually just flip the entire thing over, but you know it's the same construction process. It's just a lot, a lot of pocket holes, and uh, you know, like I said previously. We are using pocket holes because this inside is going to be completely covered with a piece of quarter inch ply uh, and that will also add a lot of strength to the entire, to the entire assembly. But uh, anywho, I'm going to get the sides put together and uh, as soon as that's done I will have a perimeter measurement to cut my base. Uh, I'm just going to use a piece of three quarter inch plywood for the base. The edges of the plywood are going to be covered up by the uh, actual pine base but uh, these pocket hole screws here are going to attach the bottom rails all the way around to the base so a little bit more work to do but it's coming along pretty good so if you've been following along with the plans uh, the base is going to be uh, 18 by 32 uh, I've got a piece of scrap here that just happens to be uh, 32 this way. I'm going to rip off 18 inches of it. Uh, but first I'm going to make sure I've got these two edges square. And they are square. Up until now I've never worried about making anything on that uh, blanket chest square because uh, basically the bottom panel, you can manipulate the skeleton until, the bottom, in, until it matches the bottom panel. And so long as this is, uh, as long as it's square, I mean, that, that's going to be screwed down to it, so it's going to stay square. Uh, same thing with the top. Flip it back upside down. When you secure the top to it, uh, the, the lid support, and just so long as, as that is square and you line it up square, once you screw it down, that's the way it's going to stay. So uh, this is about the only thing I need to worry about making sure that this thing is square. Uh, I've got two square edges, so I'm just going to go ahead and make a cut real quick. Alright, with my bottom panel cut, 
uh, the skeleton is going to sit down on top of it, like so, and we made whoa. We made all these these screw holes from the uh, bottom rails going down. And that's what we're going to use to attach the base to it. Um, but also, we're going to have this this decorative edge down along the bottom of it. A little bit of base molding, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> and to attach it, what we're going to do is on the bottom side of, of this bottom tray, we're going to screw some, uh, make some pocket hole screws. That way, we can from the other side attach it all the way all the way along. Uh, we also need to increase the the height of of the uh, the base itself. Uh, you may not want to on your plan, but uh, for me, I just realized I made a mistake. I've got two inch casters, and I ripped off two and a half inch uh, height from material. So if I want to cover this edge and I want to conceal most of the caster, I have to remake some of my base pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to drill these pocket holes on the bottom, uh, put this thing together real quick, and uh, I don't know, I guess we'll work on the lid next.